<laughs> Welcome to Continent Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Sharp. We're with me, Ian Andrews. We're going to... What is this again? We're going to be taste testing. Schonauer Apple. Schonauer Apple. So we're going to make... of course, being apple. the German word for apple. Right. Apple and then apple if you want to... If you want to multi... Or what do you call it? Pluralize? Pluralize it? Yeah. Yeah. Multi. Yeah. So it's an apple liqueur, 21% from Germany, obviously. So what are the data on the sheets that you've been memorizing? So, <laughs> it was introduced in the U.S. market in the 90s. Really? That long ago? Yeah, positive Never reception, since. yeah. Uh, it's made in a fruit-rich area of Germany outside of Hamburg. I've been there. Long known for its fruit production. Uh, that's, that's good, because if you make apple liqueur and you're not in an area where apples are, are formed... There's something wrong. Yeah. There's, There's something wrong. wrong. So it's, oh, boy. it's an import. But it's been available for a while, apparently. Yeah. I, but maybe it's making a, a, a resurgence right now. Maybe The it's... folks that sent it to me, I think, are the importers for the product. So I'm guessing okay. maybe they either took control of it or Rheinbeck. something. Um, what? Rheinbeck, Germany. That's where it's from, outside of Hamburg. And it comes into New Jersey through Cedar Knoll. So, um, our niche. So, you we're going to drink it. I'll drink. This is the, the thing Ooh. that intrigues me about this. It smells like apples. Is most like liqueur apples. in Germany is the way it should be. Apple schnapps. We must have some out here, right? Uh, and apple schnapps oh, that's is, dangerous. is quite different. Where the hell's the apple schnapps? That's, oh, this will work. This Sour apple good. bucker, same thing. This is grain alcohol with some flavors that make, it think, they make mm. you think, ooh, apple. Uh, the difference between that type of product and real product is they used to be made from the fruit. Yes. As opposed to not, which usually pushes up the ABV. You said it was 20 something? 21, yeah. Mm. It tastes like apple juice mm -hmm. with alcohol in it. It smells like cider. But it's really, really, um, really tasty. I can't find any of the other. So there's peach tree. I don't think there's anything real apple about, about the ones that we make here. No. It's sugars, I mean, apple flavoring stuffs. What other apple stuff do we have? 99 apples, Laird's Apple Jack. Yeah. 99 uh, might be real, I don't know, but it's, it's, but still, it's still. An Apple Jack is. A, flavored, yeah. Apple Jack is kind of like a uh, apple brandy, right? Or, right. So it's. This is apple. This is, this is what would happen if. in What is the percentage on these guys? <laughs> you have a red one under there somewhere. Yeah, I know, but the, yeah, the red, that red would really would be oh, the real there one. There you go. David's starting. 15%. 15%. That's nothing like David. What's up, David? What's up, Thanks guys? for making it. Thank you for your donation. He's one of 17%. And this is 20? That's 21, yeah. Yeah. A little, and, and it doesn't little taste, it doesn't but, taste as alcoholic as you'd think it would. No, it tastes like, like fermented um, apple juice, but with the sweetener. Like, I've, I've actually fermented apple juice before to make an yeah. apple vine, but it's really, really dry when you do that because all the sugar gets eaten by the yeast. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you with you're left with nothing but alcohol and some apple flavoring. Oh, but that's good. Without the sweetness. Mm. This is like that, but with the sweetness. It's a little bit dry. It's real. It's, yeah. It does have a... You know what? If this isn't chilled, you put mm. this on ice, I think you're going to get more of an, uh, an ice wine effect. Have you had ice, ice wine? Um, Very acidic. I like how last week you were all about using your fingers. And now you're just like, now it's like, let's see if we can get it in there. Take a move. Add some more. You picked the smallest cube. You did. Yes. Oh. There's a lot of cubes in there. How do you know this was the smallest? Um, I, I pre you pre sorted. It? Yeah, you pre sorted. Yeah. <laughs> I did a beach tree. You knew the other ones were heavier, so they fall to the bottom? It was a beach tree sort based on yeah. size. And you just, and, and you did like a nice order and sort? Yep. It was a small, small set, so everything's fast for it. It's small, small. You can hash them with the yeah. results. Geeky stuff. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Geeky stuff. Uh, the, the, the ice immediately starts to curb a little bit. Well, unless it's the same. I it, inhaled wrong. It, you know what? It, cur good. it curbs the alcohol, but it also takes a little bit of crispness away. It does, but it's tasty. Chilled. I mean, it's gone. Well, the thing about drinking things cold is. You know, you don't taste them as well. Right, and numbs your senses a little yeah, bit. Yeah, your taste buds are, are more receptive to warm stuff. Yeah. So when you chill something. Like people drinking cold beer. I mean, the colder the better, the colder the less you taste it. The colder the better is, yeah. is a way of, well, if we numb our senses enough, we yeah. can get drunk without tasting it. Um, I don't, uh, it's like the sure the, the uh, Coors product line, right? It's, it's about making it so cold 
that it's it's perfect. It's refreshing. Right. It yeah. and, and their goal is a refreshing drink. Where you know you go to the UK, <coughs> probably gonna get more of a warmer beer. Yeah, I don't know what the temperature would be in Celsius, but like basement level, I think like a yeah cool but not really cold. That makes sense. I like I'm this type of stuff. On. I will drink cores on occasion. I if I'm it's refreshing. I need hydration, and there's no water around. That's that's good to drink. That's almost like water. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's. I, think. Uh, I don't. Did you did you by any chance catch a price on this? That I did not get. Right. They probably didn't put it on the sheet. Then. They probably didn't. Uh, that happens. That, that would have stood out to me. I think. I think that this when called for. We should probably use this whenever we get when it calls for an Apple product, like yeah. a Apple Schnapps or something yeah. like that. Because the funny thing is, Schnapps sounds German, but it's not. It probably is orig originated in Germany, and I would think that a lot of these could be called schnapps, hmm. except for when you do that here, you think grain alcohol and flavoring and fakey fakeness right. uh, to add a little weird kick to your cocktails or bring out an, a specific flavor. I don't, I, I don't like the fact that you have to delineate them like that. But a, a German product, even a European product, is going to be more real, built with the product that uh, not necessarily fully distilled there's gonna be sugars and stuff but at least it's it's got apples i like to have something that actually has the product in it that's in the name and especially if it's on a picture definitely so there you go it's like crushed apples in your face it's good go drink some crushed apples in your face it's called uh let's see what do we call it schonauer 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 apple uh, i don't know how you say it schonauer probably be how you say it here probably apple yeah apple liqueur we're, we're done yeah you have something to point at? You have nope, nothing? I, I thought I'm, I was reading. Uh, well, I mean, we can point out that you can go to everydaydrinkers.com slash newsletter, sign up for the newsletter, patreon.com slash cmc to donate, and everydaydrinkers.com slash donate to donate as well. You can do all of those things. And you can go subscribe on facebook.com slash cocktail TV. And that too. Ready? Yeah. We're out of here. We're teaching you a drink! This takes to the champagne to a new level because the sweetness of the raspberry comes in. Whoa. Do you want that? Whoa. Oh, no. oh, you hadn't tried it yet? No, there's like. I think the old Tom is really good in this. They're... Because it's it's got more ginny gin tastic without a lot of juniper. <laughs>